Hello everyone, my name is Lorthorn and welcome to a mod showcase for Inventory Pets by Moolicious for Minecraft version 1.18.2. There are a lot of different versions of this mod on a lot of different editions. I'm pretty sure the primary is Forge, but going back it goes over quite a few different versions of the game. Alright, what is Inventory Pets? Well, everyone loves pets, including me. I have some great pets, have had some great pets, currently have a alright pet, she's great. And this just adds those pets to your inventory, and more. To get started with inventory pets, before we get to the pets, let's get to feeding the pets, because why would you ever want a pet if you couldn't feed it? So, to feed the pets, you will want to collect a whole bunch of resources to feed them, including netherrack, gunpowder, raw meat, glowstone, golden nuggets, dirt, cooked and non-cooked cod, and diamond nuggets. How do you make a diamond nugget? Well, a diamond nugget is created by simply putting a diamond into the crafting table and turns into the nuggets. And along with the diamond nuggets we have obsidian nuggets, coal nuggets, lapis lazuli nuggets which are crafted a little bit differently. Crying both dirt and lapis we add create nuggets, they don't create by themselves. And ender pearl nuggets finally rounding off by emerald nuggets. Now there are actually even more pet foods than these but these are the basics to get started with and the pets will let you know what they want to eat and we'll definitely get into that in just a moment. But before that, well, keeping all the stuff in the inventory as you see I'm already throwing out would be quite extensive. So instead you can put all the food into a food bag or the feed bag which requires leather, a chest, diamonds, and a bit of string. Now why you have to have this or the things in your pet is the pet why you have to have this or the food in your inventory for your pets is because the pets draw the food directly out of your inventory and eat it when you are in survival mode. Now, pets are a crafted creation. To make a pet, you can either use this one thing, which requires a pet to start with anyways, or you can craft them using the crafting recipe. Each pet has its own crafting recipe. They're a little bit expensive, but actually quite affordable, all things considered. And once you have the pet, as long as it's in your hotbar, you get to have it, your cute little buddy, and all their abilities. Now, what are these abilities to talk about? Well, we're going to go over every single pet's ability. If I have enough time, I've got about 40 minutes to talk with you. That's why I'm trying to go as fast as I can here. And we will see if we can get through all the pets, all their abilities, and just talk about how cute they are. All right, so the very first pet we're going to talk about is none of these, but in fact, the slime pet. Only one I'm really going to talk about crafting is it requires a ridiculous amount of resources to make, but it will save you from certain death. It gives you slime balls, very useful, it requires emerald nuggets, a nether star, a golden apple, and a diamond. And well, that's pretty good. It also can be turned into the petrifier using gold ingots all around the corn. And if you have the petrifier and a diamond, you can go to any other creature in the game like one of these sheeps perhaps, tap it with the wand and you'll turn it into your very own pet, petrifying them into that pet. Pets can also be morphed into other pets. If you don't like your pets, you can collect up to three sheep pets, for example, and you can turn them into a meta pet. And once you right click with the meta pet, it will be so meta and it will give you a random different pet. Okay, so let's go over all the pets now that we have the establishing pet creation, pet feeding, and all that stuff. Yes, the feeding is you just have to have the thing in your inventory to feed the pet, and it will eat it passively. I'm certain we'll come across a case of that as we go along, as I'll be switching in between creative mode and non-creative mode. When you're in creative mode, the pets do not require food, but when you're out of it, they definitely do. The very first pet we have in the alphabetical order is the blaze pet. It gives you a strength boost as long as it's with you, so you hit a little bit harder and your attacks are fiery. Case and point. The creeper pet makes you immune to explosions and if you right click with it, it makes you explode. Now usually explosions are a quite dangerous thing as they blow up all your guide material, even if you think you had enough distance. But usually when something would kill you, you're perfectly fine with it. And you can see it's slowly getting used up there because the creeper is, well, needs its food. But we happen to have gunpowder in the bag so it is slowly consuming each time we blow it up and oop, it's hungry, it gets fed, and that's why that gunpowder is used there. The Ender Pet is our next one, and it lets you teleport, much like an Enderman would. Sometimes you don't know if it's in your inventory though, because it likes to leave and sort of flickers in and out of existence. The Gas Pet shoots fireballs, like a gas does, and if you're in creative mode, you can spam them and light the whole landscape on fire. The Iron Golem gives you damage absorption, and he can also give you poppies every once in a while. 
Now you can toggle it on and off if they give you stuff with the shift right click and when they give you stuff it's kind of randomly determined, I'm not exactly certain how it works, but you can hear that damage absorption go on. Full bar of extra health there, meaning we are absorbing damage. And now he's out of food and he's not very happy with us, so you can actually hear that, the bonk bonk bonk. The Magma Cube lets you walk on lava and makes you immune to fire. Both are very, very handy, especially in exploring the nether. The Snow Golem will give you snowballs every once in a while, and he gives you Nora knockback in your attacks. So you send things absolutely flying away, fun to play with with your friends around. Spire Pet gives you a jump bonus and lets you wall climb. Now it's pronounced jump bonus because we are from the boonies. He can also hang on to walls by you holding shift against the wall and then he doesn't go any further and he can sort of hold you in place. The chicken pet gives you a speed bonus and it also gives you feather falling. And my accent seems to be decaying. Right, the cow makes you... The cow can fill empty buckets with milk. If you happen to have them, it'll do it every once in a while in your inventory. And if you have a negative status effect applied to you, the cow will remove it. Such as this weakness here. We'll simply drink the weakness potion, and it's immediately gone because we have the cow with us in our inventory. The Mushroom Cow has a bone meal effect wherever it's right-clicked, and it will fill up bowls with mushroom soup. The Ocelot Pet gives you night vision, and it will scare away creepers, as all cats do, and if it's near water, it will fish for you. The Pig Pet allows you to eat poisonous food without suffering the negative consequences and will give you pork chops every once in a while. A little bit disturbing that. Also, food gives you extra saturation now with the pig in your inventory. The sheep pet is a rather interesting one because not only does it give you wool, it also has the slow fall effect. And it's a really nice slow fall. It's not even, oh, you take less damage. You actually sort of get this nice little glide along where you don't fall or take damage and you have time to consider where you're going to land. The squid pet makes you amazing in water, giving you super fast swimming underwater vision, you can breathe underwater, it just, oh, it makes you so fast down here. It's a great one. Very good for exploring underwater. The Anvil Pet repairs gear that is damaged passively, or you can put it down, and you can feed him Iron Nuggets, and he'll repair your damaged gear. Then to bring him back, you right-click somewhere else, and it puts him back into your inventory. Or if he just sits there, he slowly auto-repairs. These all do have to, of course, to get all these passive effects, the pet does have to be in your inventory. And not just any part of your inventory, but your hotbar. So do keep that in mind when you're playing around with your pets. The bed pet will summon a bed for you to sleep in if it's nighttime. And if you shift right click, it'll put it on the ground and you can just sleep on him there if you like to. Of course, he is a little bit demanding on what he gets out of you. Very similar, the brewing stand will brew a random potion to you, so it kind of acts like brewing stand, but not at all. But the chest pet does act like a chest. The crafting table pet acts like a crafting table. The double chest acts like a double chest. The enchantment table acts like an enchanting table. Ender chest is the ender chest. Furnace will smelt the first item in your hot bar when you right click with him. The note block pet will pay music that's in your inventory. So he can just give you a nice little theme tune to go along while you're running about. You can also skip to the next disc, but if you only have one, well, you're stuck with that track. The lead pet leashes and tames a mob, which is actually immensely powerful. I didn't read that through properly the first time. So in hypothetical, it should make that into a dog. Hmm, that didn't seem to work, but I did grab him. So there's that to it. The nether portal pet, if you happen to give him his favorite foods of quartz or obsidian nuggets, will teleport you to the nether with a right click and will also teleport you back with a nether right click. The Saddle Pet allows you to mount any creature and ride it, as if it's your mount, if it's mountable, of course. Nope, it lets you ride any creature at insane speed. Doesn't have to be mountable. Well, that's cool. Just had to reconsider that there. See, some of these things will surprise me. The End Portal Pet is just like our Nether Portal Pet. Brings you to the end. And a lot cheaper than making Eyes of Ender to find that location. Faster, too. The Sated Diamond Chest is like the normal pet, except it's never hungry, so you can always get your stuff. Same with the double one. One, two, whammy. The banana pet is throwable and auto-retrieves. Um, <laughs> hits hard too, apparently. One shots all these animals, mate. 
goodness, what are you made out of? The biome pet uh, teleports you to a plane, and you can select the plane by sneak right clicking. And so you can select a whole bunch of different planes to go to, and it'll find them for you, let them know where they are, and teleport to you to them if you want it to teleport you there. The flying saddle is like the saddle, however, unlike the saddle, it lets pigs fly. And is a little bit slower, I think? Yeah, so, well, the flying's a little bit slower, but you still get a flying mount, so free flying. The grave pet, as long as you have bones in your inventory or feed bag, prevents you from dying, which is a handy thing to have around. You get to keep all your inventory rather than prevent you from dying. So, not quite as good effect, but it keeps your inventory, which is pretty great anyways. So, 50% right. Basically prevents you from dying. I'm thinking of the slime pet. The loot pet doubles the loot that you acquire from a given situation. So, where you would normally get one diamond from mining yourself a diamond ore, if you have the loot pet and you have gold nuggets in your feet bag, if you happen to have gold nuggets in your inventory, it will double. It should sometimes give you bone. There we go. See, he forged it and gave me two. Diamonds is a little bit harder. But the loot pet is forging the loot and doubling it. And so if I have just the one, it should give me two. So actually, the more loot pets you have in your inventory, the more you should get out of each time you mine a given object. My god. The Mickerson pet uh, gives you resistance? To damage, probably? Um, and meaning of what? Yeah, anyways. The Pingo pet finds dungeons for you, or ore, depending on what you do, and it can auto-extract the ore to you after it's found it, so it's kind of like a sonar. The Moolicious Cow makes you regenerate really fast and it fills your empty buckets up quite quickly if you happen to have empty buckets. So regeneration is not the most powerful, but when added with other sources it's pretty good and did heal me up quite nicely, all things considered. Also, the, sorry, not Moolish, the Purplicious Cow is again the creator of the mod pack. And when I tried to create a thumbnail of him, um, it gave me anime waifus from the text generator, which was slightly amusing. Quantum Crystal Monster Pet will summon Quantum Crystal Monsters to your aid, and they will act for you, and it can also de-summon them at any time. The Quiver Pet gives you arrows, if you've ever run out of arrows, and if you right click with it, for 30 seconds you get insta-shot with your bow. It plays a little song for you, and also your arrows are like the old bow arrows of being insanely fast. So, if you ever need to be in an archery fight and you have inventory pets, get yourself a Quiver Pet and destroy your enemy with your quivers of arrows. Also, play some nice music. The sponge pet allows you to place water, and it also absorbs water. If it has food, of course, I don't have any food for it anymore, so it's not going to be absorbing any water. It has one of the more out there food types. There we go, thank you very much. The juggernaut pet makes you the gov- <laughs> No. The juggernaut pet makes you the juggernaut, and you are completely indestructible for a minute as a minute long cooldown. So you should not be taking any sorts of damage as long as you have the Juggernaut pet. The Illuminati pet makes you truly invisible. With a right click it'll give you a random item and play a copyright song. Hopefully this video does not get struck. And if you do not you can then hold shift right click and once its cooldown is done it should make you truly invisible so you can no longer be seen and then you can sneak about hide and you won't be seen for another minute or so as long as you have the pet on you the siamese pet brings you a random gift and scares away zombies a little bit different than a normal cat but still serves its purpose and the random gifts it brings you will be a cat that will probably go off and do stuff for me all right skip a skippy joy skippy john go get me something the apple pet can be tossed in a spam, and it throws apples, 
And if you hold down shift right click with him, and looks like you have to fall on the target to drop the pile driver on them. Really don't get it actually. The Cheetah Pet gives you super speed and haste and scares away skeletons. To get the super speed, you have to right click with it. And then you have about speed a million and one. Which is honestly a pretty nice effect to be having. With the house pet, you can set a house location and then it will bring you back there. The Pac-Man pet will automatically eat for you when you are hungry. There we go, automatically ate a pork chop for me. Very good. And if you right click with it, it has the ability called Super Damage. I'm not exactly certain what that does, so let's go find out. Pack of perfectly innocent animals over here. And so we shall now see. Um, I think it just means that we hit a little bit harder. Also gives you sound effects from the Pac-Man game. The XP Pixie gives you double the XP when you kill a creature. Go check out my Minecraft Dungeons & Dragons series to see that in full effect. The Silverfish Pet makes it so you're immune to suffocation and you can uh, apparently uh, travel through walls with him in your inventory. There we go. Ah, very nice. Very nice indeed. The Torch Pet places torches when you right-click with him, and if you shift right-click with him, he lights stuff on fire. Happy little chappy. The Wolf Pet can set a wolf alarm, which I still have no idea what that does after several attempts at experimentation, and it can also summon a wolf. We got Wolf Gang here. Hello, friend. Will that make the wolf alarm go off? Ah, cool. Thank you, Wolf Gang. The Dubstep Pet um, copyrights my channel. So anyways, enough of that noise. We got the Heart Pet, who heals allies and tames pets instantly. So if we experiment again with the wolves, we might instantly get ourselves... No, it heals tame pets, the pets that are damaged. Kind of hard to show example of that. Um, stop right there, criminal scum. All right, you're my pet now. Now I'm gonna hurt you, and then the heart will heal you. There we go. Good job, buddy. It's also healing me, giving me regeneration. Very nice. The moon pet reverses the gravity of nearby items and mobs, and it is honestly kind of amazing. And it's not active. It is kind of amazing. So if we put down all these items, then we just simply toggle the moon pet, plays a little sound effect, and uh, everything's going to space. Second favorite of this kind of item, only next to the sun. The shield pet protects allies and tamed pets, giving them resistance. The April Fool's pet, um, will only work during April. The Christmas pet should give you a gift into your inventory, but only works in the Christmas time. And um, the Hanukkah pet only works in the Hanukkah time. But the politically correct pet, oh, I get it. Okay, and after that we have the black hole pet, which can slow down time. Apparently. Hey, Wolfgang. Doesn't seem very slow. And it can attract objects to you if you turn on the gravity well. Which I think that's a slightly further attraction. Still not exactly certain what it's doing there. The Cloud Pet is really great. It can call down lightning strikes, which who doesn't love being Zoys? It gives you flash. It gives you fast flight when you jump, making you fly ridiculously fast. And even in non-creative mode, you can zoom around and you can float down. <laughs> and you can float down when pressing shift with it. The puffer fish pet has a poisonous venom blast when you right click with it. 
and it also makes your attacks poisonous if you hit creatures while having it in your inventory. The Wither Pet damage dealt heals you, you're immune to the Wither effect, and you can shoot skulls with it. You get to shoot three at once, they go blam, and if you shift right click with it, you shoot a charge skull, which is a single more powerful skull. So, skulls away. The Slime Pet gives you slime balls as already said, saves you from certain death, slash, kill. And look at that, we did not die, now he needs a diamond as payment. And, um, sorry, he needs a golden apple as payment. And finally, we have the Sun Pet, which makes things orbit around you and uh, lights them on fire. So, <laughs> I love its effect, you just activate it with a right click. And um, you are now the center of the universe. And with that, we will leave Inventory Pets, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch everyone next time in whatever mod showcase I do next. Praise the sun, see you all next time, and goodbye for now. I am the center. I am the depth of the universe. I am the sun.